Good day. My name is Mpota Pela. I am based in Botswana, which is on the southern part of Africa. And I am a specialist in the disability sector. I have worked a lot with people with disabilities, uh, different kinds of disabilities, particularly uh, the deaf. And I've also been in a space of civil society organizations where I was working for a council or a federation for people with disabilities where I have gained a lot of insights. Um, but I haven't really had any lived experience of disability. So my insights are purely from a professional um, environment and the, engage the engagements that I've had um, both nationally and internationally through various engagements. I was invited at uh, CBA 17 to help the IIED team in terms of assessing the event itself, in terms of accessibility, uh, especially to people with disabilities and to give feedback on what the next CBA could look like in terms of accessibility and engagement of people with disabilities. So in terms of my approach of the whole event, I looked at uh, it in terms of inclusion, accessibility and accountability. In terms of inclusion, I was generally looking at how inclusive the event is holistically and how inclusive, I also considered how inclusive IIED is as an organization. So I did some uh, smaller interviews with the staff of IIED to find out in terms of inclusion of accessibility in policies and programs and structures. Um, so I also looked at it in terms of accessibility to say how, how, how have we made reasonable accommodations for people with disabilities? Is information accessible to people with disabilities? Um, do we have um, equitable opportunities? and in, in terms of access to physical spaces. So I was looking at accessibility holistically. And then um, for accountability, um, it was a matter of is IIED accountable? And this one, it speaks to different levels, but in terms of CBA itself, I think that it was accountable in the sense that, you know, they had people that could have been assisting people with disabilities it's just that they were not in attendance. After assessing um, the entire event, I then wrote a report in terms of what could be done at the next CBA. And I made um, quite a few recommendations. You know, some of them include partnering with an organization or federation for people with disabilities, because I feel that when you do that, they will better advocate for the issues that you're trying to address. They will better give you access to people with disabilities in different localities. So a partnership like that would be mutually beneficial in the sense that um, IIED would also be giving the organization a platform to be able to participate and give people a chance to participate who have disabilities. And the other thing, is that I think it would also be very good if at the next CBA we included uh, a topic that includes disability, like an aspect of disability as one of the thematic areas and actually have a person with a disability to speak to that topic. Because a lot of times when we make decisions or when we plan and we, we, we make the reasonable accommodations without the people with disabilities themselves, we tend to overlook some other things. The other recommendation was to do more in terms of making information accessible to people with disabilities, like maybe if we have sign language videos instead of just text on the website or videos that do not have uh, sign language interpretation, or if we also focus on um, making reports that are online to have uh, screen reader options such that blind people can have access to them. So I feel that a lot is being done, but so much more can be done at the next CBA. Thank you very much.